Trevor Robertson here at the Swickle Science Fair at Northbridge High School. I'm joined here by Principal Mr. Gothier. Uh, Mr. Gothier, what do you think of the Science Fair? Well, uh, first year of the Science Fair here with the Southern Worcester County League. I think we had over 300 kids that were participating here at Northbridge High School. About 180 separate projects. I think it's great for the school, great for the kids. Super motivation. Teachers did a great job. So we're looking forward to maybe getting a couple trophies tonight here at NHS. I'm Trevor Roberts, and I'm here with Mr. Schur at the Northridge High School Science Fair. Hello, hello. So, Mr. Schur, what do you what do you think about all of this? How do you like it so far? I, I think it's absolutely great. I've actually seen uh, a few inventions that I encourage students to uh, maybe take a look at, see if anyone else is producing this for the market, because I think we have some money-making inventions that could, uh, could be helpful. Um, I've talked to Mr. Warzeka and Mr. Swayze about this. You're an English teacher. Um, you're not in the science department. What... What um what got you here? Why are you here? Were you asked to be here to judge? Or you know, what? You... I was asked to be here, um, and actually, I, I actually thought about volunteering, but I thought they needed someone for period two as well. But it turned out that they needed someone for period one. They needed quite a few, so I uh, put in some time. I was actually kind of concerned that because I'm not a science person, I wouldn't do a good job. But they set it all up with a rubric, easy to follow, so um, even someone like me could could judge. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Sure. Thank you. Hi, I'm Trevor Robertson. I'm here with Devin Jacobs at Northridge High School for the Science Fair. Um, Devin, can you please tell us about your project? Well, we did uh, chick memory. We wanted to test the chickens out on if they could recognize and remember where the food was. And we built it with tin foil and reusable cardboard. And where did you get your inspiration? From my mom online. And what would you say the hardest part of this project was? Uh, probably the time-consuming efforts. Like, it took us a week, and we did it twice a day. We tested them, and most of them learned within the third day, but it took, like, a group or two for four days. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Robertson here with Mrs. McNeil at the Northridge High School Science Fair. What do you have to say about the events today, Mrs. McNeil? I think it's very inspiring. And Is the it? Kids worked hard. Yes. Are you enjoying all of the different um, inventions? Yes, I am very much so. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Robertson here at Northridge High School with Amanda Nestor at the Northridge High School Science Fair. Amanda, what do you have to say? Um, this is really interesting, and some of these projects are really cool. Have you enjoyed the science fair so far? Yes, I have. Can you pick out a favorite project or a couple ones that you um, you uh, like? The chicken one over there. They're, that's really adorable and cute. Uh, I'm guessing only because they had chickens. I bet you don't even know what that's about, do you? Just chickens. I like it. It's cute. Well, thank you for your time. Well, thank you. I'm Trevor Robertson. I'm joined here with Catherine McGuire and Stephanie Stearns at the Northridge High School Science Fair. Now, Catherine, can you please explain to us what your project is all about? Of course. Um, we did our project on how age affects time perception. So, um, our hypothesis was that if we tested a varied age group, the younger someone is, the longer the time frame would seem to them, and the older someone is, the shorter the time frame would seem to them. High School Science Fair, what do you have to say, Olivia? All right. Everything's so great. Are you enjoying the science fair? I, I love the science fair. Happy. Hello, Trevor Robertson here at the Swickle Science Fair at Northridge High School. I'm joined here by Jen, representing Lester. Jen, could you please give us an explanation of your project? Yes. What I did was I compared the biomechanics behind barefoot running and running with running shoes. Because a topic of controversy among runners that's become really popular in recent years is barefoot running. Because people weren't born with shoes. Our bodies are meant to run barefoot. And I researched the physics behind it to see which one should be faster. And what I found was that when you run with shoes, you heel strike with your foot out in front of your body, which slows the motion of your body with every step and makes you expend extra energy. But when you barefoot run, you strike with your forefoot naturally beneath your body, beneath your center of gravity, so it doesn't slow your motion. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Robertson here at Northridge High School. I'm joined by, by Chandler and Devin. Devin, can you please explain to us what this project is all about? Yes, I will, Trevor. This project is all about fighting cancer in a natural form. No chemotherapy. So right here we have the B-17, which is an apricot kernel. And where did you two get your inspiration for this project? Uh, my uncle is diagnosed with cancer, and he used this to fight his cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined here today at Northridge High School by Alex Salou. Alex, what do you think of the science fair so far? I think that uh, that everything everything that everyone's been doing today has been pretty good, and they should keep it up. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Robertson here at Northridge High School. I'm joined here by Kirsten Forte. Kirsten, what do you have to say about the event? 
Um, it's pretty successful, it seems like. I like the baby chickens that are over there. They're now, um, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I think you've worked on a project as well. Yes, I have. Could you explain to us what that was about? Um, we boiled juices to see how evaporation and condensation works, and we collected its vapor, and we uh, found that it boiled all the sugar and the water out of the juices, creating it the collected vapor to be lighter than its original color. Brian, how are you liking the science fair? Uh, it's pretty good and a lot of interesting stuff here. I'm here with Miss Marco. She's a spectator at the Northbridge High School Science Fair. Can we have some details, anything you really liked in particular? Sure. It was wonderful. Everybody did such a good job and I'm very, very happy. Everybody worked very hard. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Robertson at the Northbridge High School Science Fair, joined here by winners Jay Reese and Matthew Dupuy. How do you guys feel? <laughs> on, on, on top of the world. It's um, last year coming in second. That was great. We honestly didn't expect it. But um, we, we, we put in a lot of work this year, and we were hoping to get top last year, and we did just that.